Hi everyone, welcome to Healthy Habits with Tucson Village Farm. My name is Celine. Thank you so much for joining us today. In this video, we are going to learn how to read a nutrition facts label. The nutrition facts label provides detailed information about the nutrients in each food item. We are going to break down each section to learn how we can use those things to make healthier choices. Let's go ahead and get started. When looking at a nutrition facts label, first take a look at the serving size and the servings per container. The serving size reflects the amounts that people typically eat of this food item, and the servings per container tells you how many servings of that amount are in each package. Keep in mind that the serving size is not a recommendation of how much you should be eating. Packages often hold more than one serving. So make sure you check out the servings per container as it's really easy for us to consume more than the desired or needed servings and that often leads to an excess in calories, which we'll talk about in a moment, and can then lead to weight gain. So let's go ahead and talk about calories. Calories provide a measure of how much energy per serving you are getting from this food. In this example of lasagna, there are 280 calories in one serving. But what if you were to eat the entire package? Remember what I said about checking serving sizes and servings per container. In this example, there are four servings per container. So what we would have to do is multiply 280 calories times four, which equal 1,120 calories. To achieve or maintain a healthy body weight, balance the number of calories that you eat or drink in one day with the number of calories that your body uses during daily physical activity. Everybody's calorie needs are completely different. This varies by height, weight, age, and the amount of physical activity that you do. If you're interested in finding out how many calories you need in a day, I left a link down below that you can go ahead and click and it'll tell you exactly how many calories you need. Now let's move on to the nutrients. In this section, we have a mixture of macronutrients and micronutrients. The macronutrients, macro meaning big, are fat, protein, and carbohydrates. And these three are what are contributing to the amount of calories that we're getting from a food item. The micronutrients with micro meaning small are vitamins and minerals, which are essential for your health. Everybody is different. So the amount of macro and micronutrients that you need are definitely different than the amount that I need. But in general, some of the nutrients that we should try to get more of are dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. Some nutrients to get less of include saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars, as they may be associated with negative effects on your health. I want to quickly explain the difference between total sugars on a nutrition facts label and added sugars. Total sugars on a nutrition facts label include natural occurring sugars, including the natural occurring sugar in milk and the natural occurring sugar in fruit. Added sugars on the nutrition facts label include the sugars that are added during processing. It's important for us to limit the amount of added sugars that we consume and we have an entire video on that. I'll also leave that down below if you're interested in watching. Next we have percent daily value. The percent daily value is a percentage of each nutrient included in that food item. The daily values help us determine if that food item is high in the nutrients that we need and low in the ones that we should watch out for. A general guide of percent daily value is if a food item has 5% or less of that nutrient, it is considered to have a low amount of that nutrient. If the percent daily value is 20% or more of that nutrient, then this food item is considered to be high. When we're looking at percent daily value in food items, let's look for a higher percent daily value in dietary fiber, iron, calcium, vitamin D, and potassium. And we also want to look at a lower percent daily value for saturated fat, added sugars, and sodium. Lastly, the nutrition facts label gives us a list of ingredients in that package. The ingredients are listed starting with the greatest amount first to the lowest amount of ingredient. I hope this quick video helped you learn a little bit more about the nutrition facts label. It is a great skill for you to have now so you can build a healthier future for yourself and the rest of your community. Thank you so much for watching our video. We will see you at the next one. Bye.